Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 12th of August 1990, the most complete Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton ever unearthed was discovered by paleontologist Susan Hendrickson. In the summer of 1990, Susan Hendrickson was working for the Black Hills Institute, a private fossil excavation company. She and her colleagues were searching for fossils on a cattle ranch owned by Maurice Williams in South Dakota's Cheyenne River Sioux Reservation, 15 miles from the city of Faith. While some of the prospecting team were fixing a flat tyre on their truck, Hendrickson explored some nearby cliffs where she spotted some small pieces of bone lying on the ground. Figuring they must have fallen as the cliff face eroded, she looked up to see larger bones jutting out. Hendrickson collected some of the smaller bones and took them back to the team. Here they were identified as belonging to a Tyrannosaurus rex by Peter Larson, the president of the Black Hills Institute, and preparations were made to uncover the rest of the skeleton, which was named Sue, in honour of the woman who found it. The landowner, Maurice Williams, received $5,000 for the right to excavate, and after 17 days, the team of six people had removed all the bones and begun to transfer them to the Black Hills Institute, where they would be cleaned. The remains soon became the focus of a bitter legal dispute. A few years before the discovery, Williams had arranged for the US government to hold his lands on the reservation in trust for tax purposes. With the Cheyenne River Sioux, Williams himself, and even the US government all now claiming ownership, the FBI seized the bones from the Black Hills Institute in 1992. They were eventually returned to Williams in 1995, who decided to sell the skeleton at auction. Sue was bought by the Field Museum in Chicago, where the bones are now on display.